UT President Gregory Fembes is currently facing a lawsuit for suspending a student for sexual assault. When we looked into the president's power, we found that this was not only unique among Big 12 schools, but also among Texas public schools not in the UT system. Typically, the president doesn't decide the outcome of these cases. It is it's pretty standard and it's going to vary based on different institutions that you look at. The final authority can lie with the vice president for student affairs where they're the final appellate officer. And then in other instances, it can just be the president's office where they're the final appellate officer. However, at Texas Tech, the policy is a little different. I think the pitfall is if you have a president who doesn't do this kind of work every day and they don't really know the information they're looking at, they're getting some things out of context sometimes. So if they're not immersed in this world every day and we just take a case to them, they may make a decision that is not fall in line with what we always do. In September, the Office of Civil Rights cautioned schools, quote, to avoid conflicts of interests and biases in the adjudicatory process and to prevent institutional interests from interfering with the impartiality of the adjudication. The judge in the case, Sam Sparks, said he'll be hearing arguments before the spring semester, with the next hearing occurring on October 30th.